Hello and welcome to an interesting review of what's in the box on this Fujifilm Forensic IR kit. Now Fujifilm makes a specialized version of the X-T1 which is called the X-T1 IR which is sold in a box like this to medical and uh, law enforcement professionals who may have a need for forensic IR work. What happens here is that we put all the items you need to go out and capture gunshot residue, blood splatter, anything that may be involved in a crime scene or of course medical work, uh, forensic work on say paintings and other historical objects that you want to see in different wavelengths. This kit enables someone to buy it and go but you have to be an authorized person working in one of those fields. It's not sold to the general public. So inside the box, you can see it basically includes everything you need. You have our specialized tethered shooting software, which works with uh, any of our tethering cameras, the X-T2 as well. Of course, a 32 gig card. We can figure out the, ru the ruler here, special Fujifilm ruler. Not, not special, just kidding. It's a ruler, says Fujifilm on it. The remote release, which is a great item for anybody to have who's shooting with uh, one of the X cameras. You can see the X-T1 IR here. We have the macro, the XF 60 millimeter, 2.4 macro that's been out for some time. The flash, the EF 42, the 18 to 135. So this is a very versatile lens and good for uh, all around shooting. I'm going to go to the things that aren't so familiar. B&W filter case, the X-T1 vertical grip, a off-camera shoe for the EF42. So if you do need to get your light at a different angle, of course, an off-camera TTL cord is helpful. Now, what really sets this case apart is what's here. We do have the extra battery for the X-T grip. Is a lot of infrared filters. So here you have the infrared B&W for the 60 millimeter, the infrared 780 nanometer filter, a infrared IR830 nanometer for the 60 millimeter, and an infrared, this one is UV pass. So this allows the UV light to go but blocks the IR. And then you have a couple filters for the larger lens, the 18 to 135. As you can see, the 67, W67 IR, and the W39 IR, which is for here. So this filter kit allows you to do a lot of work with the X-T1 IR, and the body's gonna look the same. It's just been treated differently inside where the sensor is on what sort of filtration the sensor has. So let's, you can see here, sensitivity, outside of the visible spectrum. It takes a little bit more getting used to. Otherwise, the, you can see the little bit sh different shape in the body uh, sticker. Sorry, not shape, but color. Body sticker saying that this is an IR version. Other than that, identical. Not gonna see much different in there. Nice sensor, APS-C. And uh, that's the X-T1 IR. Thanks for taking a look.